Hey friends, and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Paw Pawns. We have the beautiful Kalia here where we are doing this gorgeous half up, half down style where we're doing some braids and a twist out in the back. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I achieve this look, the products that we are gonna be using and my tips and tricks to achieve the ultimate twist out. Let's get started. Of course, before I start going into the details, if you are new to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would love to have you. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie, how you doing, sis? I hope you are doing well, staying safe, being blessed, all that good stuff. So I am starting off with Kalia's hair freshly washed. It is damp. I let her sit around the house for a few minutes before I went straight into working. So I already did my part for my half up, half down. I'm working with the back of her head right now. I want to go ahead and get those twist outs out of the way. So I'm going in first with my Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Grease. I really love this oil. It's a very heavy duty oil, so I don't like a little goes a long way. It adds shine as well as give her hair like the ultimate definition. After I make sure I distribute that hair grease in throughout her hair, I'm then going to go in with a foamy mousse. I'm going in with the Lotta Body. It's very inexpensive. I like the hold on it. It's not my top tier hair mousse of all time. My top here is te textured ID, but we're not gonna get into that. So I'm going in using the Lotta Body. It's very light as well, and it's not gonna give her hair like an extreme hold, but it is definitely gonna help out with that frizz. And I'm doing a nice tight rope twist. That's why we're twisting while we're twisting the hair. So I just make sure I have a lot of dramatic movement with my wrist as I'm twisting the hair, rather than just doing a regular overhanded motion. I make sure her hair is nice and combed through and detangled. We do not want to twist up no tangled up hair because that definitely can ruin a twist out. So I make sure her hair is nice and tangled. So when I get about halfway through the twist, I'll take my brush and kind of tease through there again, just to make sure we don't have any knots or anything going on. And this is going to create the ultimate definition and also help with holding in all that shine. And her curls are going to be popping when her hair is dry. So just taking a pause so y'all can see the difference between her hair with the product and without. Like you can't tell me that don't look good. Look at the definition, yes, everything. I love how these products behave so well with her hair. Her twist outs always come out immaculate. I never have to worry about like moisture level or overdoing it with the product because the foam is so lightweight and the oil, like I said, a little goes a long way. You don't have to be heavy handed with that hair grease and it gives so much shine to her hair. Love it, absolutely love it. Now for the top part of her hair, I wanted to do some braids, just a simple four corn rolls going back and I'm gonna add beads to them at the end. So I wanted to uh, straighten out her hair, at least blow dry it so we can have a nice sleek, clean corn roll. I'm going in with the Flawless Heat Protectant Spray and I am spraying that all over and then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer. I do it on a low heat, but it's on a high velocity. So it blows out fast, but the heat is on low. And then I straighten out as best as I can go in with my parts. Of course, I love my Let's Jam braiding gel in order to get that nice clean part. And then we're just going in with a simple corn roll. So this is the next day. I sent her to bed with her hair wrapped up. So in the morning, I add some more foam to her braids just to lay those down because they do get a little frizzy with her sleeping so rough overnight. And then we're just gonna go in and take out all of her twists. So I am very careful. I take my time. I try not to snag any hair because doing any snagging can cause frizziness and I don't want too much frizz 
going on with her twist out of course i love volume but there is a difference between volume and just straight up frizzes so we're gonna make sure we take our time to still keep that definition but still create that big hair so i'm going in with the flawless exotic oil and i'm just using that all over my i'm putting that all over my hand and this kind of cuts back on creating too much frizz and anytime i do come to like a snag which is usually around the ends i take my time trying to separate the hair the best i can without pulling it or creating any knots taking a simple pick I'm going to pick only at the roots because that's where I want to try to get rid of those parts where we had her parted, parted hair off for the twist so we're going to create that volume at the roots keep that definition at the end and this is it for her half up half down look with the twist out in the back braids in the front thank you guys for joining us on a, another tutorial we will see y'all on another one please be blessed and safe